this scumbag. He had the audacity. This guy's. He could mock us while we were children. Asking, how many leaks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. I don't know. But that's why we're here today. Because I'm going to figure out with this guy. I'm going to figure out what. I'm going to figure out. Here. Here's probably the center. Let's map this out real quick. Goal is to get from here to here, all with the use of our tongue. And up with this dude right here. Oh, oh. Why couldn't you just tell us? What we really want. Is... We want this. We want this puppy right here. This is the goal. You're smart, so you can tell he was smart. He has a whole damn graduate hat on his head. He knew what he was doing. He was baiting us into uh, buying his products. Here goes nothing. First lick. Once you're in, you can't stop. You're committed. I am committed. I have already went pee. I have eaten dinner. I have wiped my butt. I haven't had. I don't really have candy that much. But. It's good. That's true. I'll let you have that. Get you all. He didn't have that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on, like, I feel like I have to keep up with the tally even though it's on me. Like, I feel pressure to keep clicking or I'm on some sort of time duration. I get all the time in the world. So let me just chill out for a sec, settle down. Maybe let the saliva do its work. I wonder if that's a secret little hack. The saliva break down the key. Oh, not for too long now. I'm so. I'm fine. Yeah. Get it. Come on. No. I just suck. Let's get rotating like a rotisserie chicken. Or a duck over a fire. There was one time actually when, because some of the parts of the lollipop are not the easiest on my tongue. That brings me back to a time when I was about nine or ten years old. And these were not found in every vending machine, but if you were in the right places, the right era or time period, they were in certain vending machines. Vending machines. And what I'm talking about are these suckers called shockers. Now, if you remember shockers. There's something about them that are so sour. If you had enough, it's kind of like having pineapples. Too many. And you'll start to... I think your tongue will start to bleed or you'll just lose the taste buds. Which just happened because pineapple was... Still kind of is my favorite fruit. But yeah, these shockers, man. 
I was nine years old, bowling like a 170. Yeah, I wish. Bowling like a 98. And it was weird too, the placement of the vending machine, but I was in the corner of the bowling alley. And, you know, begged my mom for 75 cents, got the shockers. And it actually turns out I convinced my other three other buddies to get shockers too. But I was always the one who ate most in the group still to this day. I didn't finish theirs, so they gave me theirs. So I had one complete bag of shockers. It's probably the same size as like your normal like Skittles. On top of my buddies, my amigos. Bye. The end of that bowling trip. I look in the mirror in the car. My tongue is bleeding. I knew something was up, or I should have known something was up when the last couple of shockers started tasting like iron. I was sucking pennies or something. Let me see if I can do this without looking. Maybe just looking. I see you still. Jeez. You get like. Log jaw. You see what you put me through, bro? She's so quiet, so lonely. To my girlfriend, This takes a different level of discipline. All right, when I tell you that, what I mean is the fact that you just continually lick, lick, and lick. But you would actually, you know what? Let me make this harder. It's actually hard, <laughs> so hard to believe. I licked 369 times. I 
arkadaşlar. I bet it would be easier if I just focus my energies on one side of the lollipop. Screw it, man. This is how we do it different than others. We rotate. Maybe others have rotated too, but. That would scare me. I didn't have cats. Not at this rate. saying we'll get there in the 600s right now we're at 442 450 My tongue's kind of getting a little bit sore. I wonder. Can you build your tongue up? You probably can, considering that you can build up. You know, I did not know this, but you can build your neck muscles. I found that out when I was. Uh, well, I guess it makes. I found that out with my brother, training with my brother. On Jiu Jitsu. There are moments when I swear I choked him out. But somehow he flipped me like a pancake and reversed the rolls on me. Before I knew it, I was the one getting choked out. But it makes, I mean, it makes sense. The gym that I, like, I go to a gym, or the gym that I go to has, like, you know what's interesting? When you walk by the gym equipment that has no like pictures, nobody's using it either, and you can't seem to figure out what its purpose is. And that was me with this neck machine. This little neck machine gym, my Bob. Or at the gym, this little machine. Apparently, it was a neck machine. I had no idea it was a neck machine. And it wasn't until somebody was actually in it and filled it out that I was able to realize, oh shit, it's for your neck. But the whole point of that was to come back to it. Just, ooh, to, uh, see if you can train your tongue. Mm. But I wonder what a tone muscular or muscular tongue with a tone with a tongue consisting of muscular tonage would look like it would start to have like <laughs> wait hold on one second would his tongue start to look like one two three four five a little, little six pack on the tongue. Oh, I forgot to log that. Down. Oh, 
hundreds. This is my prediction. And I kind of hope within the next 94, 93, 92, 91, likes that. We're gonna, to, we're gonna break, uh, break the skin. Break lead with. Break the dome. Kind of feels wrong looking directly in the center of the camera while looking this. That's why it's kind of nice I have a counter to look at. Just <laughs> it's fine when you do it, but not when I do it. It's fine when he does it or she does it, but not me. Damn right, it's fine. I'm not good. Except in this case, I did. If you count that. Start to space out. I wonder if I like cross out right now because I was spacing out for a second. At this point, I don't even care. I'm looking at you.
Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine an alternate universe where just licking it was how you really like took it down to its core. How we all like it. If this was just the norm, we I mean, all have six packs on our tongues. <laughs> Here my experience of 850 licks in. I've discovered that you can be kind of obnoxious with the licks, like, right. I'm just gonna, never mind, read that. Are you even kind of fine? I don't care about the licks anymore. The fact that I've stayed just in front of this computer and I've clicked the mouse 945 times. Like, fuck. Fuck this and fuck you. I just. Oh, Lord! Lord! Oh my goodness! Jeez. You would want me to quit. I know you would. Not me finding out from my girlfriend that I have psoriasis. It really keeps the relationship bonded. Because in our free time, she'll just work on my scalp. I was picking on it. Hey, sun the great feels good. But she really made me, I guess you guys didn't hear this when you would run your fingers through your scalp, but I would hear like, when I'd scratch it, I'd hear kind of like, not crunching per se, but definitely doesn't sound like when I run my fingers through her or I guess I'm not in her brain to hear it, but no, you can definitely tell the difference. I mean, we know for, I mean, I know for a fact now, because she'll take pictures of my scalp and shit. 
it looks like I'll, I'll pull up a photo right now for you guys it looks like the desert with all those cracks in it not the sand desert like sandstone with all those cracks let's go yeah you may be seeing this it's kind of nice though it's like having some homemade parmesan cheese on the go ready for whenever dispense it as you please wow folks we are about to hit the quadruple digits Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I don't know, that might be leakage. I feel like there's people who uh, do makeup or like lotion or something when they put their hands in front of it. So focus. Come on, focus. focus. Oh, we're getting somewhere. See, that might be. I I don't want to stop now, and then hear about that I didn't break it. You know. So I guess like keep going so that I know and you know and we're on the same page that I broke. Broke. I broke for you. Through broken. You know what? We're gonna do something that is deemed difficult nowadays because of how much we're stimulating. You know. I'm gonna look at this wall here. Just look at the wall. I mean, I do have my peripheral so I can still kind of see, but I'll focus as best as I can on just looking at this wall. Basically, I guess like kind of like a form of meditation. I'm just looking. I'll have this right here, so I'm still with that. Yeah, I'm having this this internal struggle between deciding if I should just fixate on a little speckle of paint on the wall, or if I should just zone out because that's what keeps happening. One or the other. I keep zoning out, my vision gets blurry, or I or I realize that and then I start to fixate or try to focus on the little bubble. I got past the pain, baby. I got through it. I see the finish line.
broken through that is we got multiple we got bam turn a little bit rotate bam right there that's three or that's two break-ins and then bam that's a third break-in yes sir this lollipop has been breached i'll show you guys right here one two to the side here and then there's one right here that's three break-ins hmm. I, mean, yeah, I don't know no there's still too much red we're going body is just suboptimal. <laughs> Give you some examples and I'll let you know why my body is suboptimal. So when I went to Peru, I found out immediately. No, before Peru actually. So first time we went on a real trip trip with my family. Because before then we've only really just gone to I mean we've gone to New York. That was it. Besides that, other than that, it was just trips to Georgia where my cousins lived. But it wasn't until freshman year of high school, ninth grade summer, or I guess going in the summer in between ninth grade after ninth grade and then before sophomore year, we went on a cruise. And on that cruise, I was the only one who got seasick every single night. And it was really weird too because it was at the same time every single night. I'd be fine from the crack of dawn or whenever I woke up until I'd say maybe sunset. When sunset would hit, I started to get nauseous. So I'd always have to leave dinner. I never stuck around for dessert. I don't think I went through my meal fully. And I would be lights out like in bed asleep by the time everybody got back. But it'd be funny because my dad would be drunk as heck. And just have all these, I don't know what he'd be rambling about, but it'd be hilarious. We'd just go to bed, like, laughing, just tears. Anyways, seasickness. Only one of the rest of my family. There's a family of five, all five of us. All of them were okay. Except for me. That's Exhibit A. Exhibit, exhibit B. Next summer, 365 years later, we go to Peru. Beautiful place, by the way. I thought for some reason in my head, I had it to where 
Peru is just a war zone. I just pictured black ashes in the air. The ground wasn't the ground. It was just ashes. Uh, there was broken like watchtowers made out of wood that like, I don't know why I had this vivid image in my head. Just like the Fire Nation attacked. There was just gray ash floating in the air, destruction and chaos. And I didn't think there was any life there. I didn't think anything flourished. But I was, I was so wrong. Oh, Stu, welcome back. Stu. Mm. I was proven wrong. The root, beautiful place, that's where I'm from. Got to see where my mom grew up. It was a very humbling experience. But yeah, no, I thought there was... Getting to Peru was fine. Being in the place that my mom grew up in was fine. It wasn't until we went to visit the, one of the seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. Now that is where I discovered, again, this is exhibit B, that I was, oh, stupid. No, easy girl, easy. Her name's actually Ash. Stu, because that's just the nickname that she had that time I met you. Mm. But yeah, in Peru, it wasn't until we went to Machu Picchu where it was elevated. If you don't know what Machu Picchu is, it is a beautiful Aztec, Maztec, something tech. civilization or used to be civilization with beautiful ruins the mountains are amazing they'll make you rethink any structure that you thought was dope in new york or in america i guess just new york but yeah the mountains are something to ah oh. it was so interesting seeing like how they told time because there was this one like handmade structure that used the sun's rays to basically just tell time. It was dope. Anyways, I couldn't stand the altitude or the altitude height levels. As soon as we got off the plane from, it was Lima, Peru, I think that's where my mom grew up. Once we got off the plane, and I couldn't even make it. Like I, I just, I couldn't even make it out of the air, like the airport. I literally was passed out on the ground. You know, I'll, I'll just—I'm sure I can find that photo somewhere with me in just an oxygen, oxygen, not mask, but the thing they put in your nose that has that's connected to a tube with air or oxygen. I needed that immediately because I was on the ground. I was just on the ground, and that is when I discovered I needed to take it easy. I had to stay away from get this so. You have to pay for water in Peru. So because you have to pay water like water for Peru, it's not like I love water, but I figured I had to pay for it and it was the same price as let's say chocolate milk or pineapple juice. You know I went with the pineapple juice. You know I went with the pineapple juice. The chocolate milk. Because like I said earlier, pineapple juice or pineapple is just my favorite or kind of or was is my favorite fruit. So I went with the pineapple juice, and it actually turns out that that did not contribute very well or sit with my stomach very well. I couldn't fucking drink pineapple juice anymore. They said it was prohibited because it would just upset my stomach and my overall well being of Peru, like just the uh, altitude sickness and whatnot. We almost like it would almost feed it. Like my stomach was an oil rig, and pineapple juice was a lighter. Can you get that? Can you believe that? He's a baby. Yeah, I was a mess. I was a mess with the altitude. I remember hiking up the hills or just like through the ruins or just on the trails on the side of like Machu Picchu. And 
<laughs> having to like lay down on the ground, catch my breath. That's like Sydney B. I forget why I started all this. Oh, because maybe I'm a suboptimal human. It makes it sound like I have weak swimmers too, or something. I got weak swimmers, I got <laughs> I got weak swimmers, I got altitude sickness, and I got seasickness. I'm just so susceptible to all. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just joking about the version. Thirteen hundred licks. Thirteen hundred licks. Good fucking day. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>